this is the new OFM FPV intruder quadcopter. I'm calling it the FPV intruder or intruder Q7. It's a 700 mm, 700 millimeter quadcopter, and based on the same frame and same design as Hexhydra at 700 that's coming out soon on onlyflymachines.com. Now, uh, choice of radios are still in my mind. Uh, for those who want to get an affordable quadcopter for FPV, uh, we'll be supplying with Futaba THJ, and those who want to go a bit more high tech and long range, we'll be supplying it with the Futaba 14 SG radio system. Let's talk about some features on this quadcopter. First thing, it takes different kinds of landing skids and landing gears, plug and play. For now, I have installed the multifunction landing skids, vibration proof, and uh, they will be available to sale for sale on onlyflyingmachines.com. They fit perfect plug and play using four screws on F5, uh, F550 and F450 on DJI machines as well. So uh, OFM 550, OFM 450, or DJI 450 and 550, these multifunction landing skids will fit just plug and play. So this multifunction landing skids or uh, landing gear fits plug and play as I was saying and it offers you area to mount GPS and under the GPS you can mount the uh, video transmitters etc etc and also it gives uh, lots of space on the front to mount camera gimbals of different type and here also you can mount the video transmitter or video camera FPV camera on top of here so it will be uh, tilting and banking with the quadcopter unlike this one if you get the feed out of this camera gimbal this will be stabilized so you won't be getting the feedback like if the quadcopter is banking or tilting so if you want to fly FPV put the camera here now uh, talking about this quadcopter um, I'm looking forward to good performance out of this one because of the size on this one uh, arms size very tough and rigid of course you can see dual booms uh, carbon fiber this one can actually take from 12 inch to 15 inch propellers very easily even DJI type 15 inch 1555 propellers that we have in stock as well uh, I'm going to use at the moment uh, uh, Tiger motors the new Tiger motors they are 700 kV and at the moment I'm gonna try them with the 12 inch propeller because that's where we get the highest efficiency after that I will try 1365 and 1470 insane pitch propellers because I like my quads to be aggressive for FPV flying now the reason for this big quadcopter is that I was looking for a replacement very good uh, very easy to put together frame a replacement frame for my video maker because uh, many people just can't build the wooden kit so this is as big as the video maker very easy to put together and very easy to set up and it takes lots of gimbals and landing gears plug and play simply not much work compared to the wooden video maker so this is gonna actually replace that one because it's as big and gonna be as fast as that one with 1470 inch prope propellers and powerful Tiger motors. Also you can actually put bigger motors and 40 amp ESCs, at the moment I'm running 30 amp ESCs, you can put 40 amp ESCs and it will actually run 6S setup. Right now I have set it up on my newest Futaba 14 SG radio system and using an R6208 SB receiver from Futaba Fast Technology and you can see all the spaghetti has been removed I'm using the S bus and only one cable is connected to receiver and NASA and everything is working perfectly sweet I have tested it setting up on the new radio was a bit of uh, work for me because I'm not familiar with this radio programming but the more I am actually digging in the more I find this radio is super awesome and more easier to program and lots of lots of features for you to program lots of lots of different things six three position switches imagine that six three position switches and the sliders on both side oh my god this thing is simply awesome anyway let's not talk about the radio if you want yes we can supply the 14 SG radio with the FPV intruder machine now my target on this machine is to let it fly at least 20 to 25 minutes so I'm gonna test with 12 inch propellers 11.1 volt 9000 million batteries I'm gonna try it with the 13 inch propellers 14 inch propellers and 11.1 volt 9000 mh batteries now I'm gonna reduce the propeller size back to 12 inch and try it with 4s 9000 milliamp or 4s 5000 milliamp x2 that means 10,000 milliamp so let's see what flight time I get out of this thing and after that I'm gonna put my sweet new 
fat shark of course not new it's the same fat shark predator 2 but i'm using dominator goggles and uh spiral net lure leaf antennas mm, nice awesome so thank you very much fat shark for making such great system 250 mw i i have gone two kilometer already so let's stop talking let's set this baby up and start flying so let me switch to manual mode going on and this time we have the 14 inch fangs on this one the 14 inch propellers same motor same 30 amp ESCs running Simon King firmware uh, these are all custom ESCs that uh, designed for us especially made in one of the Shanghai factories Look at the stick, I'm in on GPS position hold mode, my cyclic is going to full. Alright, we got the beep, we got the beep. bad almost 22 minutes on extreme angles flight like fast fast there were people standing here and they were saying wow this place this thing is fast so yes I was flying that way and I get 22 minutes flight time on a 4s 9000 milliamp battery 